Hello boys and girls, I just spent the night uh, here in our uh, ink farm, so let's uh, actually see what we got. One double chest full, uh, almost two, one and a half double chest full, so quite good I think. But uh, today we are uh, dressing uh, this up. So uh, let me quickly uh, gather some uh, materials and I will be right back. And I'm back. I collected a bunch of resources, almost a full uh, double chest full of it. And uh, can you guess what it will be from the color scheme? Yeah, you probably saw it on the previous screen. So we will be making a squid head. And uh, seeing that this area is uh, basically uh, two squares, um, I will put the, uh, the mouth or the under part on here and then the, uh, the body or the head over there. But uh, as it's not perfectly square and uh, we will be using some gravity blocks in the build, we have to basically uh, uh, block up the uh, ground layer here and uh, move one level up. And as it is, I will first create the outline. Um, base length of a side is 12 blocks and starting from this here let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 <laughs> our shape done. So let me quickly fill in the groundwork here and oh yeah let's um, let's also start the shape here because once I placed all the stone I will not no longer know where the outline was. So, of course, not enough blocks. So, I will do that and then we can. So, I have placed all the uh, stone floor on here and lit it up uh, on here. Uh, as you can see, we have a symmetrical uh, shapes, two squares, and um, now let's uh, fill this in. Um, the area in the uh, all square needs to be lit up because uh, that will be the uh, head and uh, that will be uh, hollow. So we don't want to have uh, any any mobs in there. Uh, now comes the difficult part of uh, counting out the blocks. Um, that's where I usually go wrong. Uh, but I have built this up in uh, creative and uh, basically taken all the uh, damn it uh, 
Why does it match on that side? Oh, okay. It's a two block gap. So, as you as you can probably guess, I have a screenshot uh, on my uh, other screen uh, from which I try to uh, copy this. And doing that on the fly is a bit tricky. So now let's uh, place uh, the teeth which uh, are of course uh, snow blocks so the the most difficult part uh, was to come up with uh, um, the right the right blocks uh, to uh, to match the, the colors so i probably at a later point we will go into creative oh. so this block goes here right into the corner then gap 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 and here and to make this a bit more three-dimensional, um, I put a bit of uh, spikes uh, on top of here. Um, of course, I now have not enough snow, but that can be uh, fixed. So in here we have all the uh, almost all the uh, um, red uh, concrete powder then we have some uh, red terracotta Gap there. And like this. Yep, looks good. And then here in the middle we have What was that, that called? Uh, nether wart block, of course. This gives a nice feel to the whole thing. So, you already can, can see that kind of looks like uh, the, the mouth of, uh, of a squid. And the problem we now have here is um, that the uh, head uh, crosses in here. So what I will do is basically uh, at the bottom I will follow this line, this line and then basically shape it inwards. So because the, the, the head or the mouth is much more uh, details more interesting than the uh, side of the squid head and as the uh, squid head is also a lot of uh, block placing block counting I will do that off screen and uh, basically uh, show you the result afterwards so see you in a bit so all the sides are up and even the top is placed in. If we have a fly around here to uh, this side, this is the one with the face. Um, there's still a bit more decorating uh, to do on, on here and 
then probably also uh, clean up the uh, area around a bit. I finished the uh, mouth here and uh, on this side uh, we have this um, uh, incline overhang whatever you want to call it um, and now the next part is uh, here in the middle I want to create a bit of, um, of a smoke ink residue using uh, glass and as I'm not that worst with uh, working with uh, glass I will not expect uh, the uh, greatest outcome here so maybe a bit more here and then paints. Oops, okay. Um, down here we also need a bit of, of glass. But of course here it's not that visible. Also, do it in a bit of different colors. So, this is basically a trial and uh, error, more or less. Um, then let's get on top again. So, uh, more paints here. Um, then maybe here another block. I try to not go too far uh, outside here. Um, because there will be tentacles and I think those should look like they are anchor pads Like they are covering this a bit. So maybe one more here on top, black one there, and where do we? Oh, we already have one. So how does this look? It looks like something. But of course, uh, we can only uh, judge in the uh, end when the uh, tentacles are in. And the squid has three tentacles on, uh, on each side. And they are quite bulky. So either I would do a tentacles that are four blocks and then they would bulk be bulky or I do them uh, one block um, and uh, then I could do a bit more than uh, three per side so I will get a start on that and uh, bring it back later so I finished the uh, tentacles and as you can see, uh, they are uh, quite jumbled. 
not everyone reaches the uh, same uh, height um, but that's just uh, a, a feel that I got because uh, some are more bendy others are more straight up but I did not exactly uh, count out the uh, the blocks then on uh, this side I gave the squid some uh, eyelashes so now it looks really cute and uh, probably I will come back to the to the glass here or to the ink effect but uh, for this I consider it uh, done so small improvements as always still be made and to finish this video off uh, we will head over into my test world where I uh, tested out this uh, whole uh, design and take you through the uh, different steps because I find it's it's really uh, useful um, to do uh, something like this creative uh, in uh, creative first uh, especially if you have to figure out the uh, different block palettes uh, and such to figure out uh, what works what does not work so uh, I will see you over there okay here you can see the uh, finished product um, of course the uh, the ink with the glass and the tentacles they are a bit different but the rest should all be uh, identical and uh, if we look down there the line that's there are quite a few uh, uh, steps uh, in the process and what I uh, figured out there are two commands that are quite uh, helpful one is this one the clone command where you basically uh, indicate an area that you want to clone and then the uh, the uh, destination that's the uh, north west point uh, of your uh, uh, cube that you have uh, defined there so um, if you go uh, uh, into F3 it's uh, the the point where all the uh, the uh, lines meet there on the crosshair so uh, um, when you clone it, it uh, the, the structure will stretch in this way and in this way and in up. So uh, uh, just to keep that in mind. And the second one is a fill command. Um, here I uh, used it to basically have uh, the uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, structure. And replace it with air so all the blocks get destroyed and I can uh, collect them and uh, figure out uh, how many blocks I uh, used in the end and that's how I came up with almost the correct number for most of those I had a bit less uh, purple concrete powder and I also think the uh, blue terracotta, I uh, needed a bit more of that. Um, but yeah, so let's quickly head over to the other end. Uh, because uh, over here, um, that's basically the, the model I, uh, I started and uh, refined and then basically after each step I uh, cloned it over with uh, with that command and another command that's useful is uh, if you figure out 
it. Uh, okay, this block palette does not work. Uh, you can also use the um, the fill command with uh, with the replace parameter where you say uh, uh, I want to replace uh, this block the uh, ice block with clay and uh, that way you can uh, quite easily uh, uh, replace all the blocks so here we have the first step with the uh, with the mouth and here we see a variant with the uh, with the eyes and as it's transparent I need the block behind there there I choose uh, light gray concrete but as you can tell it just does not work and from there I went on and uh, basically uh, switched the eyes out for the uh, clay and where we have clay in here uh, I use gravel and that's this stage then over here that's basically the same thing and then we have here one with the tentacles in place and the uh, eyelashes and here the glass and uh, that's basically only a safety uh, copy over there so I hope this has given you uh, some uh, inspiration and maybe also uh, gave you some ideas how you can use a creative world in your own builds. I'm not sure if I will have a Minecraft video out next week because I want to try out something different but uh, we will come back to Minecraft uh, sometime soon so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it leave a like and don't forget to uh, subscribe so you don't miss uh, the next one in any case and uh, I will see you soon bye